Grace and peace, my dear siblings in Christ. It's Michael Casey here. The United States of America is about to enter a very contentious, very hot election in less than a day. Many people have cast their votes. It is a literal battle for the soul of our great nation. There is a lot of anger. There is a lot of fear. There is a lot of great pain, great trauma, great hurt on both sides of the argument. People are being pitted against each other for beliefs that they hold. But my message to us all as we go into this election is this. Let us choose the way of love, the way of justice, the way of mercy. I fear for this great nation I fear for the political instability that might be wrought upon this nation because of some bad political actors who would seek to divide our nation up amongst whatever lines that might separate us. I fear but the thing that gives me the most comfort is knowing that through it all, through all the craziness of the election, through all of the hot rhetoric, through all of whatever is thrown in our way, is knowing that Christ sits at the throne of grace and that God reigns from heaven above with grace, love, and mercy for all people. Yes, Back in August, I told you all that I am voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. But this message is not telling you how to vote. It is telling us all that as the results come in, as we hear who may prevail in this election, let us all be calm. Let us seek the way of love and mercy with our fellow human beings. I'm often reminded of this symbol that I wear, the, the Coventry Cross of Nails, a symbol of reconciliation after Coventry was firebombed by the Nazis in World War II. I believe that we should live out the, the, the message of reconciliation as exemplified by this Coventry Cross of Nails. That after this election, after all the dust is settled, after all the results are tabulated, after everything is said and done, let us love our let us love our neighbors as ourselves. Let us work for a world that is loving, that is merciful, that, that brings justice and grace to all of whom God has put on this earth. Peace and blessings be with you all. Take it easy. Let's not get into the hot, heated rhetoric and buy into it and cause great hurt and trauma on our nation. Again, let's be peaceful. Let's be united. Again, may God bless you all and may God hold us all and those mighty hands of grace. Peace.